How does a diagnosis of depression get made? And not unlike what I encounter every day with hormones in my practice, that how do you diagnose people having low hormone levels when they go into menopause or andropause? And with men, it's easier because the testosterone levels go down. But with women, it's very difficult because the hormones go down and sometimes they even look normal and yet the women complain of symptoms and depression is one of the symptoms. So just like with the hormones, there's no blood test that, that defines, diagnoses depression. And that goes back to the importance of talking with the patient. And that's the most important diagnostic tool for the doctor to use. Unfortunately, what I see in my practice and what I see and speak to physicians that I work with is that it's the, the, the person has to feel depressed for a long time and many people don't get diagnosed. They go to a therapist before they go to the, to the psychiatrist who can write the prescription for antidepressants and by the time they get to the psychiatrist it's usually a psychopharmacologist meaning the psychiatrist is the MD who will spend 10 minutes with you and just give you a prescription for the antidepressant. So the whole importance of talk therapy which is where it all started before we had the antidepressants where the therapy was really speaking to the patient speaking to the doctor and speaking to the therapist has taken a second st a setback because most psychiatrists will just prescribe medication without really knowing the patient and relying on the relationship between the patient and the, ther and the therapist or um, the relationship between the, the patient and the primary care physician as the resource of what medication they should give them. So um, it's very difficult to make the diagnosis and it's very difficult to treat. And it's a, you know, depression is a very all-encompassing disorder and it affects a person's body, feelings, thoughts, and behaviors in various ways. I saw a patient last week who thought she was depressed only after she had seen 20 doctors and they realized that her symptoms, which were connected, we were, which were diagnosed as fibromyalgia, actually started upon the loss of her mother, who she had been very close to, and she had no other family member to rely on and be close to, and her depression presented as fibromyalgia, as somatic pains in her muscles and in her joints, and she had gone through 20 physicians who looked for different diagnoses until it was noted by somebody really good that she, what she was suffering with was really depression. We'll talk more about depression. We'll have more.